Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Augie and I've got another bonus item from Loot Crate. I don't know if this is Loot Crate or Loot Gaming. I'm thinking it's going to be Loot Crate and it feels like another book. It feels heavy but it feels like it's only like half the size of this. By the, um, the length it slides, it feels like it's only like that, that tall. Might not be a book, but I'm betting it is. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell to get notified of any upcoming videos, and let's get started. All right. Let's cut this baby open and see what we have. It's not a book, so is it a glass? Glass or a mug? Bill and Ted's Excellent Historical Trivia Travel Game. Oh, it's a game. That is pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Bill and Ted's excellent historical trivia travel game. Let me get this out of the way. So I don't know if this is Loot Crate because of the Bill and Ted movie or if it's Loot Gaming because it's a game. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Loot Crate. Okay, so this side, let me get glasses on for that. Okay, phone. Enter most triumphant trivia questions to collect excellent historical figures and save the world. Take this most excellent historical trivia travel game with you wherever you go so you can always be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. 200 trivia cards, 100 WYLD cards, 24 historical figures, 4 telephone booths, scorecards, oh the telephone booths are the scorecards, and 4 magnetic player pieces. Includes 100 bodacious conversations starting um, WYLD. Perfect for cars, planes, trains, boats, living rooms, and time machines. Alright, so there's that side. There's a sample of the trivia questions. I'll zoom in on that if you want. That and that. And then we'll open it up. Fill in Ted. Historical figures, Napoleon, Abraham Lincoln. John of Arc, Genghis Khan, Beethoven, Billy the Kid. Let's open one more. Yep, right here. Instructions, it looks like. And here's a phone book, phone booth. Bill Preston Esquire. We got Princess Elizabeth. Um, Ted Theodore Logan. And Princess Joanna. Okay, so those are the phone, phone booths which are used as scorecards from what I read. A deck of cards. Okay, it looks like the covers, are, the backs are all the same. Wild cards. Oh, they're not. These aren't all wild cards. So, one out of the middle. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, let's say wild card too. What's the last thing that happened to you that felt like incredible luck? If your philosophy of life was a bumper sticker, what would it say? Um, Royal Ugly Dudes. Can you name three British Prime Ministers? If yes, give yourself a historical figure and spot a T, dude. Okay, so those are 
the wild cards, I guess. And this one go in like that. And then we have, oh, these are the historical figures, I think. So was a kid. Oh, the, these are the magnets. Okay, we got Theodore, we got Princess Elizabeth. Okay, these are the four characters. This is how many wild cards there are, and these are the the rest of the deck, I guess. And we'll pull one of these out. Okay. It's fun to say word means the sun is at the center of our most significant solar system. This Native American chief probably did little to no sitting at all while winning the Battle of Little Bighorn. Oh, these, are, these answers are in order. Vlad Den Paler was the name of this real life Count of Bucharest. What else was he known as? Count Dracula. Yeah, these are in order here as to which questions they match when it's your turn move one space any direction via the circuits of history here's what happens on each possible space is there a a player how to play be excellent to each other choose your characters grab their phone booth scorecard put that character's magnetic player piece on my phone booth in the center of the game board so where's the game board maybe this is the game board because there is a phone booth in the center youngest player goes first and clockwise the other players when it's your turn move one space in any direction via the circuits of history okay historical figure another player pulls a trivia card and asks you the question in that category if you answer correctly put that historical figure in your phone booth and take another turn wild card you pull a wild card and read it out loud either answering the question or leaving the game if you're leaving the game follow the instructions and award historical figures where appropriate your turn always continues after completing a wild card unless it's your third move in a row. My phone booth, when you land here, it does not count as your move. Continue along choosing any of the connected circuits of history. Your turn ends when you answer a trivia question incorrectly or after three moves. When pulling a trivia card, pull from one side and put it back on the other side. For the wild card, shuffle them before every game and put them in the box vertically while playing. When you pack the game up, the wild cards go back to horizontal. I think they'll fit. Oh, because you got to get fit these in too. Okay. Um, how to win? Collect all six historical figures. So there's six spots here. Get to San Dimas High School, which is at the bottom there. Then give a short oral report of what you learned. Whatever you learned today gets you a passing grade. That's it. Congratulations on passing your history class, saving the world, and winning this game. Party on, dude. Rufus. I like the way it just closes up and ready to go. All right. Let me know what you thought. Um, would you play this? I think we will give it a shot. Comments down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have a excellent day.